Five star copies all, go ahead. Message to observer, Alpha, three rounds, AT delay in effect, three guns. Bravo, two rounds, two guns, smoke on effect. Good morning, crew. This is Options Millionaire with your pre-market thoughts for May 18th, 2021. It is Tuesday morning, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. we got about an uh, hour and a half until the market opens. Time to dive in for some thoughts. Think about what happened yesterday. Talk about um, kind of things that fluctuated, what happened, and go over what I think is going to happen today and kind of formula plan going forward. So uh, really right now, what I can see across market sentiment is that we de definitely have a little bit of a green day forming. Uh, not too green, nothing crazy. I think all of FANG is kind of up anywhere in the mid, uh, the low to mid percentages, anywhere from 0.3 to 0.5. Uh, the big thing that, that I'm looking at right now, though, is the uh, financial sector is currently slightly green. Or, I'm sorry, red, like 0.06% red. Not much, but still red nonetheless. I'm going to be watching volatility very closely today. I think volatility is going to be a key player in terms of determining what I'm going to do. Uh, if it's flat, if volatility is not really fluctuating here, we, we could be looking at a chop day. Yesterday definitely was a chop day. It was a little, and, and like what I said yesterday morning is that I was expecting large peaks and valleys, although it, uh, it chopped, but still large peaks and valleys, which is exactly what happened. Today, I would anticipate not quite as egregious swings in the peaks if we do stay in this chop session. If we break out, I'm going to be paying close attention to uh, the levels that we break out on. And that turns me to this chart that we're on here. So we're currently on the six month chart and you kind of see the volume profile, which is what I'm looking at now. And this huge level right here, this 417.19 is appears is what's going to be uh, continuing to be this large volume area with a support and resistance that's been going on uh, since we entered this little sideways chop area in April. So we bounced off the bottom of this range here, which is pretty close to the 50 on the FIB. And we're coming back up here and uh, we're entering, I think right now we're 416.29 pre-market here. So we're right there, right inside this volume range. We've entered the bottom side of this vo volume. And I want to see if we pop out of the top of this. If we pop out of the top, we very well could start pressing all time highs uh, and, and make a run for it, which probably won't happen today. I'm not going to try to predict anything. I probably won't happen today. But if it does happen, look for a run later on this week. Uh, we're still trying to fake out or uh, shake out last week's inflation fears, and uh, that seems to be weighing on the market and everyone's on on everyone's mind. And of course, there's been comments made that they may start rolling out asset liquidation a little bit shorter, a little bit sh sooner than what Jay Powell has said. Uh, regardless, we're going to play today as it comes here and figure out what's going on early. I'm, I'm not going to play the open just like normal. I don't expect any big moves that I want to take advantage of. Uh, I'll probably stick to a four to five DTE on this one today uh, just because I don't want to go too short like I did yesterday on my second and third place. Three plays yesterday, by the way, uh, three for three on yesterday's plays. Very happy with that. 8.8% uh, 8, 8 and 2% and negligible percent, but positive nonetheless. So... Let's go ahead and dive in a little deeper. That's the six month chart here. You can see that the squeeze momentum is cooling on the six month chart. You've got the uh, increasing RSI divergence here. This is going up, RSI is going down. I deleted RSI for the purpose of the video because I wanted to really uh, highlight on this and, and zoom in. Going over to the one month chart, you can see these big fluctuations in price here. And then of course yesterday's chop, the nice little graphic representation of uh, those big downturn that we had that brought us down to 404, which I'm very, very happy we did that. It kind of resets my evaluation, <laughs> resets my evaluations, and uh, cages my thinking on terms of a bullish sentiment. Everyone, knew, you know, I was saying all the time that my I had a bearish bias. Uh, I no longer have a bearish bias in the short term. In the long term, meaning like between the end of 21, 2022, yeah. But in the short term, I'm, I'm back to being bullish, which is. What I try to do is, is is go with what the market is telling me. So right now we've got this volume on the one month chart here, which is a 414 area, which we bounced cleanly off of. We spent a lot of time hugging that 414 line yesterday morning and then broke free of it in the afternoon session, which is good. It's good. And then now we've got this next volume area coming up here at the 416.95, 417 level, which I was talking about earlier. I'd love to see that thing pop up and start going up. Going over to the one day chart, Here's the 15 minute chart here. Uh, you can kind of, kind of see the candles. We stay tight in this range, which is, uh, oh, let me pick the right one. Click on this horizontal line. Okay. You can see we, we, we fell, we, we fell tight in this range right here. Uh, 
all day long with just chop fest and then even lower the morning session was even tighter than that i mean you can kind of see the morning session was super tight it stayed right on top of that 414 line pretty much all morning and then finally broke free went down and went back up and you could have made some money on some puts and calls yesterday it was just a little unpredictable for me in the afternoon session plus i had to step away uh, so today we'll try to capture some of those swings if they do start to make those same movements uh, on today's session so i'm going to switch over to the five minute chart which is where i usually hang out between the five and i'm starting to incorporate the three minute more and more a lot of people in the room ask me why I don't trade the three, and I just, I've always liked the five. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm starting to incorporate the three more because a lot of y'all do, and I want y'all to kind of see how my mind thinks on the three minute chart as well, since y'all are using that. So this is the five minute chart here, currently hanging out right in between these these volume profile indicators here on the five minute chart. We raged up all, all afternoon yesterday, closed up here at the high 415s, and now we traded water post market in the pre market. We gapped up a little bit and now we're hanging out in this 416 area so nothing too crazy going on nothing too cosmic i expect another inside chop day on the on the one year candles we'll see how it goes uh, i'm going to be watching closely the volatility and the financial energy and materials sector in the morning time to see where things go we'll form our ranges uh we'll we'll find our support and resistance and go from there otherwise um, you know outside of that i don't have too much else for you uh, we're going to be watching everything closely playing smart and playing everything as it comes as usual uh that's really all i got i am thompson's millionaire i appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video if you're new to the channel y'all know the deal man so like this video subscribe uh, and share these videos with your friends and family so we can continue to grow this brand and uh, learn you can, you can learn you something a little bit learn how to do this properly learn how to trade now and forever so you can always make some money if you're not part of the discord join that discord get in there using it as a great free educational resource and of course, you've got pretty much 24 access to me, 24 seven access to me. You can uh, at, uh, post any of the applicable rooms, shoot me a DM. And then of course, if that's not good enough, you can go old school and email me at optionsmillionaire2020 at gmail.com. Good stuff, good stuff. Anyway, that's all I got. Go forth and conquer. Let's make some money today. Have a good one. Let's make some more winning trades. Be smart on all your entries and your exits. Not just your entries, but your exits too. So we can always go forth and build that win rate and conquer. Y'all take it easy. Let's have a good day. See ya.